Canu is a California-based company that was founded in 2017. Canu has developed a unique concept to change our thinking about cars, using the knowledge gained from the two critical skills required to manufacture an electric vehicle. When Canu launched its first microbus, the E-Band, in 2019, they undoubtedly did not anticipate its stratospheric rise. Just two years later, with the Kayak pickup truck's most recent television debut, the vehicle has everything you want in a so-called future car, as it has a rounded, slightly cubic front face, unlike the Ram 1500 and Toyota Hilux. Set for release in 2023, Canoe's pickup truck is best characterized as the company's first minibus, similar to an electric vehicle, with the rear end removed and replaced with a six-foot baggage bed. To put it mildly, the physical resemblance between two vehicles with very differing usefulness is puzzling. However, underneath all of that are very standard skateboards. All Canoe EVs are built around your own skateboard. Canoe's favorite concept, the heart and soul of each electric vehicle, is this ground breaking, revolutionary technology. What makes this vehicle so special? To be sure, there are a variety of qualities that contribute to the Canoe's radiance. Canoe's EV platform integrates all of the critical components of an electrical drive unit as flatly as feasible. Traditional electric vehicle platforms include power units, shock towers, and mechanical steering columns integrated into the vehicle and taking up space. Without an engine compartment, the Canoe's thin chassis enables the company to provide 
provide a flatbed comparable to the best-selling American pickup truck on a smaller footprint, making the vehicle simpler to maneuver and easier to drive and park on any terrain. As with a van, the flat front positions the driver practically above the truck's front wheels, allowing for more storage space in the cab and rear cargo bed. The vehicle features a storage box in the front that may be used to store tools or equipment, a flip-down table on both sides with two adjustable depths, and the flip side table, which is integrated into the side panel of the camion bed, serves as a workstation with outlets on all four sides of the vehicle. The electricity may last all day for tools and gadgets, affecting the vehicle's range by less than 10%. The workstation table may be expanded to allow customers to optimize their operations on the go. Additionally, it provides a location to choose equipment before conducting an investigation. The vehicle side is concealed, allowing for fast and simple access to the truck's bed. The steps below provide a versatile storage area for a first aid kit, a cooler for food and drinks, and a safe laptop storage area. This space-saving innovation is only possible due to the Canoe Platform's ultra-flat design. The six-foot-long back baggage has a payload capacity of 1,800 pounds and a good battery range of 200 miles. This range falls short of several other electric vehicles expected to hit the market in the next year or two, such as is the Tesla Cybertruck, which has a range of 250 to 500 miles depending on the load. The truck is 184 inches in length. The Tesla Cybertruck is 231 centimeters in length, whereas the Rivian R1T measures 218 centimeters in length. Although the pickup truck is just 6 inches longer than a Subaru Impreza and 5 feet shorter than a Ford F-150, the truck's bed is extended through a pull-out bed extension and the canoe model stands out. From 6 to 8 feet completely enclosed, the distance is increased to 213 inches, making it more competitive. This allows for the easy passage of big items such as a 4 to 8 plate sheet via the draw handle. Additionally, bed extension aids in loading and unloading the vehicle. When the bed is extended, the extension serves as a license plate holder as well. It is possible to remove the second layer of doors. Additionally, the bed extension has a backup lamp that powers all taillight operations, enabling the truck to run while optimizing the available space in the bedroom. The vehicle's bed is modular with a canoe, a space partition device designed to keep items safe and separate. Additionally, the bed wall has modular wheel shots for securing bikes, ladders, and other equipment. Tie-downs can be customized as well. At night, the third brake light serves as an overhead light in the cargo bed. Additionally, the truck is equipped with perimeter lighting to improve vision on all sides of the bed wall. The interior has two front and rear seats that buyers may customize with a additional seats or other options. Truckers may modify their vehicles because of their modular design. This unique canoe engineering takes into consideration both use and aesthetics, depending on the circumstance. Canoe said that the truck would have a top speed of 600 miles per hour and a torque rating of 550 pound-feet. The pickup truck has been designed to take various camper shells to accommodate as many as possible. The pickup truck is the company's third vehicle, all of which are based on the company's own multi-purpose design platform, which enables the vehicle's fast development. The firm is also wooing the outdoorsy demographic with its new pickup canoe. According to the business, cargo racks and a selection of pull-out camper shells will be offered. Additionally, this staff doubles as a drawer for owners to store coolers, such as those seen on boats and other vehicles. The pickup is very customizable. Additionally, the pickup is designed to accommodate a variety of camper shell configurations. The company claims that customers would convert their electric cars into mobile campsites equipped with additional storage and sleeping spaces. Additionally, a rooftop tent is seen in photos, suggesting that Canoe is contemplating a company to supplement its automobiles. The Canoe pickup truck, a bundle of electric joy, is still a ways out from release, and we're sure you're eager to hand over your cash. For that reason, once the Canoe pickup truck is released, it will be unavailable for purchase or operation, as will all of their electric cars. Canoe will operate on a subscription-based product service model, which is very controversial in the automobile industry, or for whatever reason.